What's up everyone, my name is Anaj Kumar and in this series of videos you will learn ActionScript 3.0 and some Flash. So in the previous video we made some layers and uh, a variable called count which counts how many time our rectangle moves from here to frame 30. So a little bit summary of uh, previous videos. So how to create variables, just type var for variables name of the variable it can be anything colon the data type of the variable number a number is anything which is uh, a positive integer simply from 0 to infinity and assigning the value 1 and of course a line terminator which is a semicolon then on the 30th frame we had count equals count plus 1 what it does every time it iterates on the 30th frame it increments value from 1 to 2 and 3 and 4 and so on by 1 first of all the value is 1 1 plus 1 2 and then 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 so now we will gonna display it so how to display first of all we we'll create new layer by pressing this new layer tab so renaming it by double tapping it and uh, text or just display type in display sorry press enter now we will create a text toolbar by pressing T or just clicking on this drag and just open it wide press V for selection tool or this and you can drag it and place it anywhere on your stage this is called stage if your stage is not fully visible go to this panel and you can click on show frame it will be fully visible now you can drag and drop it anywhere so on the text toolbar you need to give an instance name click on properties if properties is not visible go to windows and you can select properties from here so what instance name is I'll be telling you in a moment so you need to give an instance name to your text toolbar mm, just be uh, click on this text toolbar go to instance name and type info underscore txt it can be anything okay so we wrote info txt so go to actions layer on the second keyframe right click insert keyframe and now we are gonna display the value of count in this go to actions in the actions layer on the second keyframe so little bit syntax info underscore txt which was the name of our instance variable it could be anything it could be anuj or anything or your name dot txt for displaying the text this is a simple action script syntax which will be equal to count and a semicolon line terminator semicolon comes after every line of programming language so it's very simple instance name dot txt for displaying the text which is equal to count for example the uh, count variable value is 1 so it will be displayed on the text toolbar which is of type text so it's very simple but uh, we'll encounter some error uh, but I'm gonna show it now press control enter to test the movie you can see uh, we have encountered uh, an error it is saying implicit coercion of a value of type number to an unrelated type string so it seems like we need to convert our count variable to string uh, it's so just go to the second frame of our actions layer and uh, you need to convert this count value into a string what string basically is string is a bunch of uh, letters and numeric characters and everything so what we did we took we uh, type two parentheses and between two two parentheses these are called parentheses we inserted the variable count so what this does it converts count for example the value of count is two into the string and display into a text bar whose instance name is info txt save your file and test it by control enter and you will see it 
what 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 happens we also have a bug here there are no errors right now zero errors but we have a bug it's not incrementing the value of uh, 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 every time it's just iterating over it so what it hap what is happening here as it moves here on the first keyframe it is in initializes the value of count from 1 to 1 actually on the second keyframe it displays the value 1 okay so far so good as it reaches 30th keyframe it tells the compiler to go to first keyframe and also increment its value from 1 to 2 now the value of count is 2 but as soon as it reaches the first keyframe it again is initialized to 1 and as a result 1 is displayed again and again so we can fix this bug by uh, pressing uh, going to 30th keyframe of action slayer and instead of second first keyframe you can go to second so what will happen not is it will not go to first keyframe and as a result it will not reinitialize value of count to 1 again and again so let's save the movie test it by pressing control enter 1 2 3 and every time it it reads it goes from 1 to 30 and then it goes like this forever thanks for watching the video please do subscribe if you like it and uh, bye bye